my name is Mingyu Ku, and this is a three part video with the other two parts to be released later. And this video will discuss a project that I have taken over in the past summer of 2022. This project is related to my local cabana clock. The clock that we've been using at my local pool was analog and often hard to see, so I felt that it was time for an upgrade especially something that can be digital so that it can be easily seen in the night. I was originally planning to purchase a digital pace clock that I could donate to my pool. However, as soon as I began my initial research, a prominent problem arose. This is cost. Pace clocks, such as the one pictured above, can run upwards of 1500 and I've seen ones that go up to even $3,000. Therefore, I believe that it is not practical and wise to spend such a huge sum of money on such a relatively base, basic piece of equipment that can be easily homemade. I knew that there were other pieces, other methods that I could take to build a clock that, similar to the one pictured above, but with much less money, and I have achieved that. The following three videos, including this one, will discuss the details of the clock, the materials required, how to code the Arduino and modify the library, and finally actually build the clock. Through research, I was able to find parts to build a fully functioning Zoom Pace clock for less than a quarter of the price. So. The main, this video is going to discuss the main details of the swim club. So, first of all, the main parts, was main key points were durability and function. To begin with, the clock has to be durable. It needs to stand working for years to come without it melting in the sun or turning other, other, a yellowy color because of the direct sunlight. In addition, I, because this is a piece of equipment, it needed to be able to withstand drops and falls and not shatter. Therefore, I found a plastic box, which I will be going into further description in a later video, and also an acrylic panel, which is better than glass in terms of shatterability. In addition, the main purpose of this clock was to, was to be a fully functioning Arduino clock. And that's my main focus for the next two videos in which I will discuss how I was able to code the Arduino and modify the libraries required to display two individual digits with each digit taking up one display as, as the Adafruit library that I've been using was not modified to be able to do so. The final video will be discussing the build process of the video and that will be this three-part video of the homemade swim pace clock.